Well, and the world has changed, right? In all fairness to those of us who are addicted, in our defense, we'd say the world has changed. I mean, it's not a safe place. Our parents are aging. We never know when they're going to call. Is my wife or kids going to need something? So you feel as you are more connected and as your time's more in demand, I feel like I need to have my phone around me because the odds that something could go wrong in the world that impacts people I love and work with is higher these days. And I want to be able to be involved or come to the rescue, right? Or so let's be careful about what we mean by addiction because a lot of times I'll ask audiences, how many of you are addicted? And I'll ask them to confess that and give an example of what is it. Well, I love technology. I want to have my phone always because in case of my parents, that's not addiction. Using te I love using technology. We can love using technology, but you really have to take it back to choice one around the time matrix and, and discerning what's important, less important, not important, and saying, I'm using my technology in a quadrant one or two kind of way um, and putting it down if I think I'm slipping into quadrant three or four, meaning, it's just a distraction. I'm just picking it up because I have nothing else to do. Uh, right. Or excessive right. use of it because I just am doing that at the behest of or damaging. So I should be talking to my child, not reading on my cell phone. <laughs>